Alright, so, uh, today's level is Crooked Beach. It's a uh, work in progress by M64M, but um, that's kind of redundant, saying that a custom Banjo-Kazooie level is a work in progress, because other than Snowglow Village, um, every single level that's quote-unquote available is only a demo. I think I forgot to mention that in the previous parts. So... This is the first level that actually has textures in it, from what I understand. But, uh, he didn't provide me with any sort of level warp code, so... I'll be using the same save file that I used for, uh, my own level back in part 1. And just turn around, since he says it replaces Spiral Mountain. So, uh, here we go. He says there's like 10 jiggies and 100 notes. Oh gee, I wonder where the first one is. <laughs> um, so yeah, it'll be like a full-on level, and this is also released 531, so uh, congrats to him for being able to throw this together day one, unless he had like the level ready on the first day. Okay, this is getting kind of silly. Uh, two jiggies already, huh? Okay, um, let's see. Probably should get a controller sooner or later. Uh, why, hello there. Um, alright, so, uh, if I stop talking, that's usually because I'm concentrating. I'll try not to do that, though. Uh, yes, not concentrating while playing a game. That works great, Zach. Uh, so, uh, bit of lag. Um, let's try and kill these birds that are coming out of seemingly nowhere. Uh, the first two levels I didn't really judge so much as just like point out how unfinished they were, but since this one seems to be more finished I think I can be a little bit more critical with it, and when you have birds or uh, I don't remember their name Ah, uh, god, anyways. Uh, or... Chompas. Yeah, that's the other thing. Chompas, which are these, like, green enemies from Clanker's Cavern that work the same way. There's also, like, a skeleton version from Mad Monster Mansion that's also basically identical. Uh, but anyways, when you have them, you should have some sort of texture or object that they visually come out of so that your player is warned about them, because if they're not... Um, well, you saw me almost get killed by them, so, uh, yeah, Talentrot is kind of, like, fast and inaccurate on the keyboard, so let's not use that unless we have to. In general, I find Talentrot to sort of defeat the purpose of a lot of levels in the vanilla game, mainly for his easy peek, because a lot of players, myself included for my first few runs, don't really get the full experience of the level and the slipperiness and how that affects the overall design of it, unless you go through it without Talentrot. Alright, uh, sort of glitch the camera over there so that we can see what's going on and get the jiggy. Uh, so yeah, um, definitely like the fact that there's note trails. Like, one of my big gripes about the vanilla game still have no idea what C-Rite is, um, is this one individual note in Treasure- okay, like, that one wasn't so great, but I suppose there's one on the opposite side, so, eh, okay. But anyways, yeah, um, was in Treasure Trove Cove, this one individual note that just seems like bad game design on Rare's part, to just, like, have that one there, breaking the pattern of them always being in lines, and, like, you don't need every node in the game to even get, like, the best upgrade in the game, so you might as well just leave if you miss that one note. Uh, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this one that you need to, like, fly to in Alcove with this staircase that leads up to the higher part, whereas most players just, like, fly straight up to the f highest part of the level. Okay, so that was all the notes. Uh, definitely interesting. I like how it was trying to push yourself upwards while, like, collecting stuff. 
just like the older game or older levels of the original game, but um I missed one jiggy. And C right seems to be S? No, that's R. Um Okay. Um maybe I fooled around with the controls on Project 64 at one point and forgot that I did. Uh is that a little secret right there? It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, the camera in Banjo's backpack levels tends to be kind of really glitchy. Oh, that's neat. Uh, he made it all watery, this part over here. Unless that was unintended? Kinda hard to tell. Uh... Let's get out of here before we glitch through, goddammit. Well, then. Grunty's magic stops you from taking your notes off the world, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Um, that's what I was talking about before. That's why you need to have your notes all grouped together, because, like, if your opponent, or er, opponent, if your player gives up on your level then they'll probably never come back and get 100% on it, because basically, like, they need to redo literally everything else. Uh, so, yeah, pretty nice, like, level considering how fast it was thrown together, but, like, also kind of really small. It feels like he sort of tried to put hundred notes and ten jiggies in just for the sake of there being one hundred notes and ten jiggies, but uh speaking of which, where is that last jiggy? Um Alright, so now you're seeing like part of Chrome because of the way that I'm recording. Uh Yes, there are vertex and shading issues, 100 notes, 10 jiggies in place. Jigsaw pieces aren't showing up because I either don't know how to enable them yet, or place them incorrectly and they're all underground. Except that... For me, nine of them showed up? I'll just chalk that last one up to being severely underground and... I have no idea where it could be. Seeing how there's not much to the level other than just like the same climbing thing. Which is kind of repetitive, so like it's a pretty cool level, like, considering you only had a day to work on it, but the little that's already there seems kind of repetitive. Like maybe if you just cut this down to like half the size. Like, had that cave thing be the top of it, that would have been great. For like, part of a f bigger full-on level. I don't know. It was pretty fun. Alright, so yeah. This was part three of Banjo's Backpack Showcase Thingamabob. And, uh, probably the first thing that I'd actually call a legitimate level. So, yeah, good job, M64M. See you guys next time.